my lovelies and welcome back. I hope we're doing well. Welcome to our first get ready with me of 2022. The first one you're seeing anyway. <laughs> so I'm really sorry that you guys didn't get a video from me last week. I did try to explain it as best as I could on my post. However, the, the day that I'd spent filming two videos back to back to ensure you had a video for last weekend and I guess this weekend. My microphone sounded like it was possessed so there was a constant loud like humming. Mm. It was worse than that, it was really bad. Which meant I had to scrap them and I assure you I spent so much time trying to actually fix the problem to see if I could salvage them because I'd spent an entire day trying to get ahead of the game because I'm off to London today for the weekend. So I'm doing this now because I was like, well, I've actually got enough time to get ready and we can just catch up again now <laughs> while I do my makeup. I'm doing a very different makeup look to what I showed you initially in the video you obviously aren't going to see. So I will make sure I do that again soon. <laughs> So as I mentioned, I am going to London this weekend. It's for one of my nearest and dearest 30th birthday parties that went in my mouth. So I'm very excited. I've just used my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray as usual. I can confirm it really does not taste very nice. Ugh. Good Lord. It is quarter 10 in the morning. I've got up. I've had a shower and washed my hair. I put some fake tan on last night so I don't look like such a ghostly mess. I have of course also done my COVID test and I am negativo so that is beautiful. I'm just quickly going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily with Clay foundation so my usual and I'm actually going to use my 120 today because I've tanned so I need one that's a bit more tanned. <laughs> I've got to try and remember everything I caught you up on in the video that shall not be seen. I tried to re-record one of the videos after work one day during the week just to see if I could save it and uh, I then watched it back and I looked so sad. <laughs> so disheartened that it had happened especially when I sort of vowed to you guys that 2022 was going to be the year for the the bang. We were gonna hit the ground running and everything was gonna go all a okay and then everything did not go a okay. The really annoying part is that I really like those videos. It was also the last time you were gonna see me with my grey hair because it's quite abundantly obvious that my hair right now is a weird shade of like minty green blue not the desired look. My bottom half is a bit more back to normal and bearable. And then I've got my top half <laughs> that is genuinely a mint. It's better than when I first started removing it, which would be a week ago tomorrow. So we're gonna be doing an eye look that I am very fond of at the moment. A little different to my standard. It's an eye look that you guys would have seen quite a few times now on my Instagram because it's now become a go-to. It's a bit like my usual standard, but with a bit of a twist, extra flair, a bit of pizzazz. God, I'm so tired. <laughs> Firstly, before I start applying it, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Translucent Setting Powder. You know the drill. At this point, there's probably no point me even telling you that these are the things I'm using because they don't change. Unless I get something new, at which point, you know, then I'd announce it. This is the makeup bag I'm gonna be taking on my travels today for my makeup. And then this will have like big bottles and hair. Should we talk about last year? Haven't really done any resolutions for, for the new year other than sort of bits that I wanna do for the channel. When did we last catch up? Was it after I went up to London the last time? I did so much chatting in that video and I've clearly now wash the slate clean because I cannot think for shit now what I spoke about. That's fine. We will, I'll figure out. I'll figure it out. It's fine. It's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to do my eyeliner and I'm going to use my Maybelline New York Lasting Drama. Two seconds. Good Lord, that was a fucking ordeal. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to be using a Too Faced liner. I don't know how much is left of this. So it's back up. I'm going to be using 
this. So this one is the Smoke Show, and then this is just a killer liner, but I don't know how much is left of this. Oh, I think we've still got quite a bit. I'll take it. I'll take this one just in case. I use a smudge brush, so it's this. It's a nice dense brush, and I just go over the top of the liner. I will use the liner directly, but just to begin with, I like to use this to just create create what I want. Bam! Right, and I'm just gonna do my actual waterline and then bring it down. Put these in my bag. Tea break. So I've got loads of amazing plans for this year so far. Obviously that is lockdown and restrictions pending, but obviously today our first proper trip of the year is we're going to London. It's going to be really nice. It'll be the first time that me and Jake have actually gone up together and spent a night. So we're going to go up and get some food and just chill out before the party, get ready in our hotel. And then on Sunday, so tomorrow, we'll get some breakfast and then we are getting picked up from London. So I'm just going to quickly do my lashes. So the usual Lash Sensational Mascara Primer you know oh obviously everything will be in the description box down below as usual for you i think after this weekend i have a a couple of things planned with some friends i've got a girls night at the end of january now i'm actually going to go and do my contour so i'm using the kvd shade and light contour and this is the shade somber Yeah, so that's January. I mean, we are literally in the middle of January, like what's going on? <laughs> what is happening? It's already going so quickly. I think next up, obviously we have Valentine's Day in February. Something very exciting starts in February as well, which is awesome. So I can't wait to just share what that is. Buzzing, so pleased for myself. Well done, me. <laughs> and then it's my birthday book the week off so we can actually go and do something so we're gonna go down to Oxford and see my auntie and uncle so that'll be really really lovely so yeah it's gonna be I've got yeah there's just there's just nice things to look forward to and that's just in the first couple of months of the year or well weeks now I could probably say weeks <laughs> oh, there'll obviously no doubt be more trips up to London so I can spend time with my girls. I'm trying to think if I spoke to you after I came back from my friends when I went to spend the weekend at hers in London. We had a pyjama party. It was very nice. We had takeaway. Drank plenty of gin. <laughs> and got to spend time with my girls at hers and and her dog. Oh my god, her dog. I love him so much, I really do. It's, it's half past 10 now, we've been here a while. <laughs> and I don't really know what, what we've spoken about, whether it's actually been of interest. I do this every time. Problem is though, I do feel like I like dumped everything out in the last video and now I'm like, it was like word vomit and now I can't. Now there's no word vomit. <laughs> it's not there. So I'm going in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara in black. I just, I cannot fault these mascaras and I love the brush. The brush is, I think, what sells it for me because it works so well with my lashes. Oh, I got my nails done. So party ready. So I couldn't decide if I wanted black or white. So I went for both. <laughs> oh my god, I have so many treatments coming up in February. I'm going all out. I'm getting my hair done finally, and I'm gonna go back to a natural, a natural state where when my roots grow out, it's not so obvious. I'm then getting my nails done, obviously, and I'm then getting a massage and a luxury facial, and 
O M G am I looking forward to that. I'm also feeling so bare because I haven't got like my bangles and my rings on. I've got loads of ideas for you guys. I am gonna try and salvage one of the videos. So I did a my week in the wardrobe for December and January's one because I chose the 27th to the 2nd of January. So it was a nice little crossover there. <laughs> and it meant you then didn't have to deal with two a week in my wardrobe videos in one month, which I don't like doing and I'm pretty certain you guys probably don't enjoy either. I have the cuttings of the outfits. They're obviously fine because you don't you don't hear them. It's the talking bits. I don't know if I'd said about it in my pre-Christmas talk or my talk for Christmas. I can't remember what I called it now. But I'll be having a weekend off every month just so that I don't burn myself out, not get so exasperated with everything and then obviously having to do not having to do this but obviously with doing this sorry having the wrong word i choose to do this what haven't i done something's missing oh my brows i have been sort of sort of doing my brows again mainly just sort of deepening them so i'm going to be using my ardell brow pomade and it's in the shade blonde mainly just do the arch So my bag is looking sufficiently filled. I think mascara wise, I am also done. Just gonna put a bit more on my bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna put some falsies on. And then I will leave you guys alone for a little bit. And I'll come back once my hair is sorted and dry. And when my outfit is on, and I've got my jewellery back, so I will speak to you in a little bit. And we're back. A significant improvement, I think. Hair's looking amazing. I honestly, I love this makeup. I feel like it's a really sleek, sexy, and just awesome look. It's beautiful. So I'm wearing my off the shoulder, like asymmetrical, top and then I'm wearing my Stradivarius wash black jeans, I've got some chains, I've got my favourite studded belt and then I'm wearing some cute little heels. So I think I am London ready. I'm very excited, I'm now at that point of have I packed everything even though we're only going away for one night. <laughs> it is every time my travel bag is packed, handbag is all packed and I've got my friend's presence, so I do think I have everything. I'm just being paranoid. <laughs> it's now half past 12. My mum's on her way to come and pick me and Jake up and take us to the train station. I'm so excited, I'm very excited. Well, I hope this video was okay. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you here again next week.